dialogar. Dialogar. Dialogar means... This is similar to... To hablar. It's very similar to hablar. You can pretty much use hablar or dialogar in many situations. Uh, but this verb means to talk or to discuss, okay? Dialogar is mostly used in very formal situations, um, like in politics, it's, you, it's, uh, this verb is used a lot. Uh, when you see interviews, like, I don't know, about anything on the... If you can hear this verb a lot on the news, Um, and yeah, it's a very formal verb. You can use it in informal situations as well, as well, but you will hear this more, um, in formal situations. Okay. So to talk, to discuss, um, so let's look at an example. Tenemos que dia dialogar, sorry. Tenemos que dialogar. En lugar de pelear, tenemos que dialogar. En lugar de pelear. This means, sorry, we have to talk instead of fighting, okay? Uh, you don't want to fight, you want to talk, which is a, be you know, a better way to fix problems. You need to talk. Do not fight, just talk, right? Um, so, tenemos que dialogar en lugar de pelear. Tenemos que is a great fra uh, phrase. Tenemos que. Tenemos que. And it means we have to, in this situation, dialogar. Talk. Okay, dialogar. En lugar, en lugar is a great phrase that means instead, okay? En lugar, en lugar. Now, when you add de, you're adding more to the phrase. En lugar de is a common phrase to find in the middle of sentences because you are saying, you know, instead of doing this, let's do this. Okay, uh, or let's do this instead of this other thing. So, en lugar de means instead. Pelear, well, of fighting. So, instead of, en lugar de, instead of, pelear, fighting. Okay, tenemos que dialogar en lugar de pelear. We have to talk instead of fighting. Uh, pelear, we have two verbs here, dialogar, to talk, to discuss, you know, um, that's what it means. And pelear, pelear means to fight, you know, like literally and sometimes just it means like, you know, arguing when you are arguing with someone. You're not necessarily fighting, <laughs> you know. You are arguing, okay? So it can be literally or figuratively. <laughs> And it's quite interesting, this verb, pelear, pelear. Um, sometimes mom, moms say, no peleen, no peleen. And that means, you know, stop fighting, stop arguing and so on so it's <laughs> a common thing to hear as well when people are fighting or arguing excellent now the next example let's see what we have here los políticos dialogarán dialogarán future tense sobre la economía. 
los políticos dialogarán sobre la economía. What does this mean? This means the politicians will discuss about the economy or will discuss the economy. Okay, um, so they're going to talk about the economy, how to fix it, <laughs> right? And that's a great example. Uh, you will hear this a lot, as I said, you know, in formal situations, maybe uh, some, someone from the news is saying this. Los políticos dialogarán sobre la economía. The politicians will discuss or will talk about the economy, okay? So, dialogar is a very, very common verb that means to talk, to discuss. And um, this verb is an irregular verb. So, it has some irregularities here and there. Um, not too many, but there are some irregularities. So, it's it, this is a verb to use if you have, you know, um, an advanced Spanish. It's a great verb to, to practice, definitely. Dialogar, dialogar, to talk. It can also mean to hold talks, okay? To have a conversation. And um, so it's a very, yeah, it's formal. It's a formal verb for sure. Excellent. Excellent. Now, the next, do you have any questions, guys? Remember, you can use the live chat to ask questions. Oh, hang on. I didn't break down the, the last uh, sentence. Los políticos. Los Políticos means politicians or the politicians, okay? Políticos, los políticos, the politicians, dialogarán, future tense, will discuss. I think uh, it's better if I do this. Oops. Will discuss, dialogarán. We'll discuss sobre la economía. Sobre means about. So it's a common thing to say dialogarán sobre. Okay? Dialogarán sobre. It's similar to saying the, uh, to talk or we'll talk about. Okay? La economía means the economy. Okay, la economía. It's a very, it's a, both words are very, very similar. So that's an easy one for sure. Dialogarán sobre. So remember, remember that uh, this word here can work really well with this verb over here. Dialogarán sobre. You can also say dialogarán acerca. Sobre and acerca mean about. Okay, acerca or sobre. Sobre also means envelope, <laughs> by the way, el sobre, the envelope. Uh, but when talking about something, it means about. <laughs> sobre can mean about. Excellent, excellent. Um, 